If you've been watching lately, you'll already know that we've been having a lot of fun smushing exceptional gaming machines into incredibly small form factors. And if you've been subscribed to our channel for a longer period, then you'll know that we've also been covering tiny, non-gaming, ultra-compact PCs for years. Well, then it was only a matter of time before a product would come along that blurred the lines between these two categories. You can call it ultra form factor. You can call it small compact. Gigabyte calls it Brix VR GB BN i7 HG 6 1060. But I call it the Kleenex box of annihilation or the but will it bring you tears of joy or tears of suck? Well, it'd be a crying shame if we didn't find out. Rosewill's 25U adjustable open frame rack is a wide range easy to install server rack or cabinet for small businesses, home offices, and studios. Check it out now at the link below. So to put this product in perspective, if the were the size of the outer box it came in, it would still be small enough to make it into our recent small form factor case roundup, which you can check out here. But it gets far better than that. Gigabyte has done some incredible engineering work here and managed to fit a formidable gaming rig into a volume of only 2.6 liters. That is a mere third of the size of the smallest case in that roundup. I mean, seriously, if this machine were filled with chocolate milk, I could literally drink it in one sitting, which I will begin to do now. Now the chassis of our top tier config is 110 millimeters square by 220 millimeters tall with a dark anodized aluminum finish that subjectively looks a lot more premium than its lower tiered KitchenAid styled brethren, but still falls short of looking as good as it could. You know it pains me to say this, but in this case, while I have to give them credit for not going full gamer, I think it might have looked a little better, especially in a home theater, without the orange. Flipping it around, we find a healthy helping of I.O. Three USB 3 5 gig ports and two USB 3 10 gig ports. One type A and one type C. And it's got more stuff that we like. Gigabit Ethernet with audio out and in. <laughs> and some we don't. External antennas, come on guys, those are so 1997. Now, here's one of the big product differentiators. It's got two HDMI 2.0 ports and two DisplayPort mini ports. That is where the VR sticker on the box comes from. This thing has a VR grade dedicated graphics card. Gigabyte made opening the kaboom really easy. This is a key consideration for something that'll be sold as a bare bones machine for you to choose your own OS, storage, and memory. Just remember though guys, that it won't be entirely plug and play. So factor these items and any other accessories into your budget. Just four screws hold the outer chassis on, then a few more conveniently marked little guys hold together what we're calling the music box for nerds. Oh, oh, I just broke a small thing, but it's okay. Well, it's actually a pretty beefy cooler for like a 1062. Fully custom GPUs, there's the dual mini display ports, there's the dual HDMIs, GPUs down there. Uh, looks like his RAM on the back? No, but we've got power delivery on the back here, and then we've got, uh, I actually can't, oh, okay. So they've got memory under a heat pipe over here. Yeah, there it is. So the memory is here and here. Look at that. Everything about this thing is custom down to the printing on the VRM modules. Expandability is like really compact in here. So you've got one M.2, then you've got another that runs either PCI Express or SATA M.2. You got your two SODIMs 
And then, so you can actually, oh, this is cool. So you can actually install a two and a half inch drive here. Okay then. So it's a pint-sized PC with a GTX 1060 in it, but can it actually deliver butter smooth frame rates in games without melting? Well, from our favorite games to synthetics like Unigen Superposition's performance test and even its VR benchmarks, this branding is officially living up to its promise. And the Kiboa was quiet across all of our tests even when slogging through the VR test on the very demanding future setting, with the GPU hanging around the mid 80s. CPU thermals though are a bit of a different story. Ida64's FPU stress test turned the Kapoa into a bit of a flaming hamster wheel. We had to double check our sound meter. Yup, that's right, 70 plus decibels. And even then, the CPU was in the high 90s, throttling down by as much as 25%. We were thinking maybe it was due to our slightly unfair synthetic workload. So we fired up Adobe Premiere and encoded a video in 4K with, well, pretty much the same results. This was a bad idea. But how big of a deal all this is really depends on your expectations. This isn't a full fat workstation, but Gigabyte never said it was. And aside from their claim that it has similar upgradability to a full size PC, Thunderbolt 3 would probably help a lot for me to say that that's fair. The Kapua pretty much lives up to all of the points listed on the product page. It's a great fit for VR in your living room or home theater. And thanks to its size, you can easily take it with you on the go. I'm giving this thing uh, two jugs up. Ooh. We need slightly smaller computers before I can try a repeat of this. Do you love anime? Well, if you do, you either created Crunchyroll.com or you would super awesome love it. They offer the most current episodes of new shows straight from Japan, like Dragon Ball Super and Twin Star Exorcists, and all the content on their site is professionally subtitled. And our link means you don't have to take our word for it because you can get a whole month of free anime completely ad-free. Then, if you enjoy the many benefits of premium membership, like 1080p streaming, getting new episodes of shows straight from Japan within an hour of their premiere, and being able to stream anywhere, anytime, from a variety of devices like your phone, tablet, or game console, you can continue your premium membership to Crunchyroll for only $6.95 per month. So head over to crunchyroll.com slash Linus and sign up today. So thanks for watching guys. If you just liked this video, hit that dislike button. But if you liked it, hit the like button, get subscribed and maybe consider checking out where to buy the stuff we featured at the link in the video description. Also down there, you'll find a link to our merch store, which has cool shirts like this one, as well as our community forum, which you should totally join. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go to the bathroom. How much sugar's in this shit? 9% of your daily carbohydrates intake, which is all sugar. How many cups is this? Eight, yeah, 10, 10 cups, okay.